Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know exactly how I'm going to feel. Uh, just going to be natural out there. Uh, and, uh, you know, but we're definitely ready to go. Um, we're expecting great things tomorrow. Nothing else? <laughs> Guy, have you had a chance to kind of, I mean, the game hasn't happened yet, but have you had a chance to really think back on kind of your journey? I mean, from the time you got here as a freshman and being able to work through all the mistakes and the problems and to get to this point and how the kind of progression has gone from being a team that was kind of struggling to where you guys are at today? Yeah, um, I've definitely thought back. You know, the best part is that I don't have any regrets. Uh, you know, I came to work every day. I can look in the mirror and say that. And, you know, I know I've approached the game the right way. And, you know, it's brought a lot of great moments for me and a lot of uh, great experiences and, and things I'll never forget. So, um, Coach just told us about the first meeting y'all had uh, when he came in. Yeah. You said you wanted to get in the gym the next morning. Yeah. Do you remember that specifically? And Yeah, I made, uh, I made Coach Wade move around a little bit in that one workout that we had together. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, I love Coach Wade and, you know, all the all the things that he's taught me on the court and off the court and, you know, all the great things he's done for me. And, uh, you know, I feel forever indebted to him and, uh, you know, for letting me to continue to have this opportunity to play for LSU. So, Skyler, a lot of people would look at you and say you're the consummate student athlete. Not only do you do well in school, but you have tackled a very difficult field. Um, was that a conscious decision on your part when you came to college? You said, I'm going to attack, I'm going to be great at both my, my classwork and on the basketball court? 100%. And I think that's just how I've approached, you know, before I even got here uh, in life. And, uh, you know, always just trying to do the right thing. And, you know, my parents teaching me the right way. And, uh, you know, just trying to continue to do that. So we've probably asked you this before, but. Um, as a kid, when did you first know you wanted to play here? And second, what memory will you take from here? Uh, what was the second part? The second part was what game would you take as a memory, your favorite memory? Favorite, oh. Uh, well, I knew I wanted to be here when I started going to LSU football games. I knew I wanted to be a part of LSU and, and saw the um, – you know, saw all the love that, that comes with being an athlete here. Uh, I don't think it was until Coach, Coach Jones uh, gave me a scholarship that I, that I felt that I was good enough to play here, uh, which was probably, I think I got offered a scholarship my freshman year of high school. So that's when I kind of put it together that I wanted to play basketball here. You know, I've always had love for, you know, being at home and uh, everything that comes with being a part of LSU. Uh, so I guess that would be my answer to that. For my favorite game, I've got I've got a lot of great moments. Like uh, I always I always look back at the highlights of when we came back against Missouri. Uh, I look back at the you know the Michigan game, uh, my sophomore year in Maui. Uh, you know, one of my favorite moments in, in an SEC basketball game was when it was my very first SEC basketball game when we played Vanderbilt here and Wade hit four back-to-back -back three. I think it was four. It might have been three back-to-back -back threes. And, uh, you know, so I don't think I can, you know, pick one particular game, but I've got a lot of great moments that, you know, that I'm going to remember. You know, consistency on the court has been something that you've taken great pride in these last four years. I mean, can you just talk about, you know, as a freshman coming in as a starter and then being able to stay on the floor, you know, really these whole four years as a, as a starter for this team? Yeah, I've just, I, you know, just little things about, like, the blessing of being able to, you know, play in every game. Uh, some guys don't even get to play, you know, every single game. Uh, um, you know, and, you know, Coach Jones believing in me. I just I just got off the phone with Coach Jones maybe 20 minutes ago just calling him and after reflecting, you know, just thanking him 
for believing in me and, you know, kind of giving me the keys from day one and, uh, you know, having the opportunity to play here. Um, but, yeah, um, I've just always, like, tried to try to do the right thing and, you know, have a routine so I can be consistent. I feel like if you, if you kind of do the same thing every day, you can expect, you know, consistent results. And uh, I've, I've tried to live by that, you know, as an athlete and in life in general. Yeah, being here for four years, you've gotten to see a lot of changes in, in this program really change over now two coaches, as you alluded to. So what will stick out to you as, as being the major change, I guess, culture-wise here at, at LSU in this program? Yeah, um, you know, we, um, I think we, we started at a low point with my freshman year, and we've gotten better as years go on. So, you know, being a part of progress is always a great thing, and, you know, um, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of the jump start of this thing, and I see this program making uh, huge strides, you know, long after I'm gone from here. Because, uh, you know, we've got a great leader here right now, and Coach Wade and the coaching staff. And, uh, you know, he recruits great guys who, who care about winning. And, you know, that's a recipe for great things to come. Skyler, uh, this is college is supposed to prepare you for life. I mean, you, you've experienced so much in your four years here. I mean, yeah. the, good and, the good and the bad. I mean, you know, death, the uh, championships, the death of a close friend, winning, losing, you know, coaching changes. I mean, uh, have, you, have you had a chance to reflect on any of that at all? I mean, yeah, it just, it just, it's been yeah. a rare experience. Probably. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while to soak it all in. Uh, I think I'll still be reflecting on it when when I'm done. But uh, you know, it's been a great four years. At the end of the day, and you know, I'm just so happy with all the you know relationships that I've that I've made and all the people that I've come across and you know all the support I've gotten over these past four years. And uh, you know, it's coming to a close, but all all great things come to an end. Sky, uh, as you go out there for the uh, um, senior day opportunity, it's you have a chance to be out there with Wade's parents and, and, mm -hmm. and Marshall, and I mean, just to be able to have that moment. What could you imagine what it's going to be like? You know, having them there and having Marshall, people that you've known for really a really long time in your life. Yeah, I'll know what it feels like tomorrow. Um, uh, that's that's a great group of people that you that you just brought up. Uh, you know, I love them. I love them. Like they're my own family, uh, so it's going to be a great moment, and uh, I'm excited for it. That's all I can really say. I'm sorry. Yeah, that that that's huge for me. I, I think that's where the emotion, emotional part is going to come. Um, uh, um, you know, I can go on 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 and on about what Wade means to me, and you know. You know, I wish he was here with us physically, but uh, for for us to be honoring him, uh, that means a, a whole lot to me. Scarlett, when you guys won the SEC last year, yeah, you guys cut down the nets, and I think you made an effort to make sure that his parents went up. And mm -hmm. is that one of your great memories being here? Yeah, you know? uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, man, that's definitely up there. Probably number one. Uh, I've got so many. Uh, you know, it all. Uh, it, but that's definitely one of my favorite. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to, you know, share this moment with them tomorrow as well. It's going to be special. Cool. Appreciate y'all.